Now, if we've got a car whose wheels have been drawn first, right, and the car's velocity is in what we'll call the positive direction, so it's got some positive velocity, okay? If the acceleration is in the same direction of motion, then we'll see that the car is speeding up, right? Uh, let's just put some numbers here, right? If the initial velocity is three meters per second and the acceleration is two meters per second squared, then at T1, one second later, got myself that done. Right? One second later, we will have added 2.0 meters per second to the velocity. We're going 5.0 meters per second. Another second, we're adding another 3.0, so we're at 8.0 meters per second there. And we'll see that the speed of the object is increasing in the positive direction here. Okay. Let's look at another scenario where we've got the car. Velocity is initially positive, and the acceleration is going to be, well, in this direction, so negative in this case. We'll put some numbers to it. Again, we'll say it's, it's going positive 15 meters per second, so 15 meters per second in the positive direction. The acceleration is negative at, we'll say, negative 4.0 meters per second squared. And we'll see that what is happening here is basically the reverse of what we had before. All right. Um, after one second, uh, <coughs> it is taking away 4 meters per second squared sorry, 4 meters per second of velocity. We'll have a new velocity of 11 meters per second. Another second later, and we're only going about 7 meters per second in this case. Uh, so we can see that, all right, so it's, it's kind of tempting to think, okay, positive velocity, or sorry, positive acceleration leads to higher speed. Negative velocity leads to lower speed. Again, notice I didn't say deceleration. Uh, but let's look at another situation, right? Same car that I drew on the wrong side of the board, because now I want the car to be going in the negative direction first. So we're starting off with an initial negative velocity. And let's see what happens with a positive acceleration. Well, if the positive, if the acceleration is positive, let's use some numbers that we had before. We'll say V1 is, sorry, oh man, I just erased with a tennis ball. Hey, at least I didn't use my finger like another teacher right now. How he erases the board. I'm not going to name him, this is going up on YouTube, come on. Okay, so the initial velocity of this car we're saying is uh, negative 12 meters per second. And the initial acceleration of the car, we're going to give as positive 4 meters per second squared. Now, if the object is moving in the negative direction at 12 meters per second, and it has an acceleration of 4 meters per second squared, that means one second later, all right, <clears throat> we're adding 4 meters per second of velocity to it. Its new velocity, one second later, is going to be negative 8 meters per second. We add those two together. And another second after that, we've got negative 4 meters per second, all right? 
So we can see something here. We've got a positive acceleration, but the car is slowing down, right? To use terms of speed instead of velocity. The car is slowing down and will eventually come to a stop, even though it has a positive acceleration. We'll see, too, if we go further with this. Sorry, I don't feel like editing much. If we go even further with this, we can have another example of a car. A car with an initial negative velocity, and let's give it a negative acceleration as well. Again, just throwing out some numbers, we'll say the initial velocity is negative two meters per second, and the acceleration is negative two meters per second squared. And if we do this, we'll see that one second later, adding those two together, we get negative four meters per second. One second later, we get negative six meters per second, and the car is speeding up now in the negative direction. So one thing that we can see from this is kind of a rule about acceleration. Acceleration can be positive or negative. It can be adding velocity to an object. It can be, um, well, again, let's not say adding. Let's say it can be um, changing the velocity of the object in the positive direction or in the negative direction in this case. Okay. Uh, it really just matters what direction the velocity and the acceleration are pointing. We'll see from our examples that if the acceleration and velocity are both in the same direction, then you've got the object speeding up. Let's see if I can find that forward. Um, same direction. The object is speeding up. Its speed is increasing. When they are both in the same direction, again, the speed is increasing, but in this case, just in the opposite direction. When the two are opposed to one another, uh, as we have them here, all right, when the two are opposed to one another, we see that the object is slowing down. And it really doesn't matter which direction it's in, it just matters is the velocity and the acceleration in the same direction or are they in opposing directions.